is doing well and you are having a blessed day. Do you all have a pile of this? These little tiny pieces of batting, they are too big to throw away, but not big enough for the quilt you're working on. Here's your solution. This is called Franken batting. What we are doing, and I'll move the camera over so you can see better, but for now, what we are doing is we are taking small pieces and we are zigzagging them together with our sewing machine. So I am doing a zigzag stitch wide enough to catch the pieces together. Okay, I am using a zigzag and I'm making it four millimeters wide. And we're just sewing, that's all it is. Line up, my foot has a little line going right down the center and I'm lining this, this gap up right there. Just butt them up next to each other. They don't need to overlap. And here comes Mr. Dinky to supervise. If you have trouble seeing the different, you know, seeing the pieces, the seam, you can always mark one with a washable marker and that'll make it a little bit easier for you to see the seam. There you have it. Now you can take this to your cutting table and trim it together. Let me pull the piece down here and I can show you the seam. So you can barely see it. Same thing on the back. And it's nice and flat. So that is how you do Franken batting. And you can sew as many pieces together as you want. The quilt that I'm working on is very small. It's like a newborn bassinet size. So I don't need a lot. This piece was almost big enough. I just needed to add a wee bit to the length and a wee bit to the width. So that is how you do Franken batting. Don't throw away those big pieces of batting anymore and don't use them to stuff pillows. You can sew them together using a zigzag stitch so that you can use them on your larger projects. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please do hit the subscribe button, ring the little ding-a-ling for me, comment and share the videos on your social media. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, Campbell.